Hello, and gentlemen. What's up here in the Mastermind channel? Welcome to the intro to the intro video of the new series that's coming up. When you get blamed for troll picks, when you are insulted and blamed for throwing the game, what do you do? Besides obviously ignoring the triggered tilted asshole that is pointing at everyone else except for themselves. I decided to start an in-depth series solely focusing on hero synergy and counters. I can't say that these topics haven't been covered so far, but I feel that some of the guides out there are lacking a big part, which is team synergy. Maybe I've just been looking in the wrong places, so correct me if I'm wrong. With synergy, I'll be suggesting the obvious ones, such as Nanovisor, but there are so much more of those synergies that are barely being mentioned by professionals in my experience. And maybe this is because they are quite obvious for some of them. The biggest reason I'd like to mention these synergies is because you might have overlooked some of the simple ability combos and to think about how we are going to make this team composition work instead of complaining about something you think that won't work. For example, the fact that Roadhog and Junkrat are actually released as a duo makes me tilt that no one acknowledges that these two can have amazing synergy. Since Junkrat plays very much alike a shotgun and an artillery at the same time. And Rodok and Junkrat, close to each other, can one-shot tanks. So a very dangerous combo. Symmetra and Winston can melt a ton of squishies with their barrier lock-on combo. Combos when played right that can abuse and melt full teams. Since Overwatch is meant to be such a team play game, but when anywhere but Grandmaster feels like a free-for-all with teammates, most of the time, some of you would call it ELO hell. I won't say it doesn't exist, because I feel like I'm in the wrong place sometimes. This got me thinking, however. The games I win are usually the games where people are making call-outs and call shots over the voice comms. But it doesn't help that this game has the same toxic level as League of Legends. This guide is meant for those two or three stacks looking to turn the tide by themselves. This series is meant to lend perspective to those looking for some easy tricks to use as a team. Wombo combos, if I may say so. I'm mainly going to focus on the regular abilities over the ultimates, because most of the people understand how to combine ults. Also, if I'm going over a specific character, I'll mention the damage numbers on every ability to know what you're dealing with here. So far, I'm really going to try and see if I can find original content and look for every possible synergy. My favorite so far is quite a hard one, which is the Orisa Orb Rodog Hook combo, which can become quite easy once you practice a little bit with a teammate, since this is also based on synergy and not so much on skill. Anyway, this is just going to be the intro for this series. I hope you guys are just as excited for this as I am. And I hope to see you guys in the first episode of the series. Peace out.